Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're back at it, MSSL Division One action here today, week three. For those who are counting, it is Das Beer Hall taking on Heartland SG. Das Beer Hall will start right to left wearing their salmon pink, pinkish orange. I don't know how to just classify that one, but he'll be right to left, and then left to right will be Heartland wearing purple and gold. These two sides will be looking for their first win. Well, Beer Hall sitting on four points. They had a four-foot win over Christos, but last week Drew against the Dobies 1-1. And so, opportunity for them today to get on the board. The first week, Heartland looked good. They fell to the Steel Pulse by a score of three to one, but last week were blanked by A3 Highlanders, three nothing, three Joey Amon goals, and we are underway. Heartland starting off in possession. We'll knock it around. Sent inside and all the way back to the goalkeeper. In goal today is Kenneth Dyke, returning goalkeeper from last season. Looking to make an impact. Sent outside and good press from Beer Hall. Scarzaletta sends it forward, but just a little bit outside of the reach of his counterpart. Well, one by Scarzaletta. All sent inside. Up in the air from Leroy. Well contested. And over the touch. Arlen just clearing their line, sending it forward in the direction of Anthony. All the way back down. Austin Hyde and goal for Beer Hall. Sends it long, but picked up by Hartland. All wide. Alex cutting inside. Bobbing and weaving. CJ Batata calms things down. Will Fong sends it back in. Wilson carrying. Out to Will Fong. Possible foul. That called in Heartland. Sends it in, but not ready for their own service. Long ball. Sent off. Shot is taken. There's an effort. Oh, just over. And touches the high bar on the way over. Goal kick to come, but that is a warning shot across the bow if I've ever seen one. Beer Hall looking good today. There we go. Hartland sending one down the line, but taken over by Holy, David Holy sends it forward. Potential foul in the midfield. It is called against Jacobs. And a simple foul inside Beer Hall territory. Sweat. 
Sent into the box. Hartland taking it around the corner, sending it across. Well won by Jacobs. Dangerous challenge. And back to Scarzaletta. Scarzaletta sending it back to Wilson. Wilson's ball down the line. An over overlapping run is on. Sent in. Right away. John. Twan putting pressure on it. Hartland looking. Sending one across. Takes a touch and over the end line. Corner kick to come. Opportunity for Hartland getting bodies into the box. It's taken to the back post. Good service. And just sent away. There is a foul coming out though. Beautiful day for football here in Milford Mill in Windsor Mill, Maryland. There's a light breeze, but nowhere near as bad as the wind was yesterday. Highly recommend coming out and checking out some of these matches in Maryland Super Soccer League. We have matches all day at Milford Mill. Usually 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. And then tonight we have a 7 p.m. match at Bell Branch Park in Anne Arundel County. And then an 8.30 Division II match in Catonsville, Catonsville High School Stadium. And we sincerely appreciate your patronage here on DMV Sports Media Live on YouTube. Hartland building from the back. Solomon. Getting it all the way back to Dyke. Jacobs. Sends one forward looking. But not finding the intended pass. This one's cut out by Holy. Oh, offsides is the call. Akinbunu with a lovely little touch to play Lopes in, but it was just a little offsides. Miscommunication. Leroy George sending it outside. Down the line, there's an overlapping run. This one's sent in the direction of Anthony. Anthony, one of the leading goal scorers in Division II the last couple seasons. We'll see what he can produce today. One of the leading goal scorers, despite missing several matches, he's an electric player when he's out there. Here comes a good ball in for Anthony. And a shot. Oh, it's called against Beer Hall. I think that's an unfortunate call since the goalkeeper did get the ball. But the referee didn't see it that way. We'll take a look at the replay. Mm, unfortunate if you're Beer Hall. Take a look at this. Yeah, you can see the ball change direction. Let us know in the comments what you think. It's not going to change anything. Hyde will have to come up big for his side.
Here comes the take. And it's sent in by Anthony. Beautiful finish. And it's 1-0 for Harland. The start they needed. Harland hungry for points. Today's the day. You might find some. Beard Beer Hall, how do you respond? It's a tough call and a tough break for them, but there's a lot of time left on this clock here in the 10th minute. 80 minutes for them. Fine goal, sent forward immediately for Akinbunu. Akinbunu is there. It will be a Heartland throw. Beerhall looking to lock this one in. Potato sends it outside. Now sent into the box. Looks like Akinbunu was offsides. Kenneth Dyke sends one high into the midfield in the direction of Anthony, but one by Jacobs. Potato finding loops and a foul going against Hartland. Set piece opportunity. Ooh, had me faked out. Sent in low. Blocked by Hartland. Hartland just send it out. Oh, they do find a ball to Anthony. Lethargic play from Beer Hall, but won't be punished for it. And down the line. Garzaletta puts it in the corner. Just out of reach. It's been contested by Loops. Now Paul Affel taking the shot on just wide of goal. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. Are you a Beer Hall fan, Heartland fan, or just passing through? Possibly score prediction, although it's a little late. Let us know your thoughts on the game, any players to watch. We sincerely appreciate your pa patronage here. DMV Sports Media and the MSSL. This ball does trickle through. Hartland trying to lay it off. Scarzaletta switching the point of attack. Oh, CJ Potato sends it down the line. Affle, great ball for Lopes. And sent away well. Sent in again, and goalkeeper will collect. This one sent over and contested well. Anthony battling, but Miller is there. Data turning and fouled. This one's sent behind Heartland, but no runners are there. And Dike just gonna take his time on the ball. Up, 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 up. 
Launching one. Long, initially won by Beer Hall. Here comes Hartland Akbunu in pressure. Sent down the line, but he can't walk the tightrope. Will be a Hartland throw. Served in. Anthony was there, but just beyond his reach. Flag was down, that would have counted. Served in. And okay, quickly taken by Hyde. There's David Holy. Sprang went out to Akinbunu. Good strength, Apple challenging. Sent in, here is Jacobs. Lopes back. Raffle finds Scarzaletta. Good ball from Scarzaletta. Joey Miller sending it across. Oh, what a save. And it comes off of Potato. No, it's a corner kick. It was already over. Great sequence of play from Beer Hall. They're hungry to get back equal in this one. Sent up and over. Goal kick to come. Sent into the midfield. Contested by Scarzaletta. Here comes Paul Affle. Hartland winning it back. Finding Solomon. Switching the point of attack over to this near side. This one's forward to Hyde. Hyde launching one over the back line. Well won by Hartland. And now Solomon sending one forward, but Hyde will collect. Good challenge. Sent over the top and hide. Happily collects. Wilson playing short. Miller down the line. Here come Beer Hall. Miller down the line. Flicked on well by Potato. And their takers are there. Full contesting and winning it back. Here comes Joey Miller's ball. Delightful ball for Lopes in the corner. And forward. Hartland 
Ireland looking to switch the point of attack and do so. Alex Nevis turning. Good turn. Comes Solomon in space. Not finding his target, which was Anthony. Nevis. On the ground and over the far touch. This one's in. Bear Hall, you sense the urgency in their play. Holy. Anzac and Bunu, a great ball forward for Lopes. Taking it on. Trying to round the corner is Lopes. Find Zach and Bunu. Those two working together so well. Oh, what a ball for a full. Paul Affle playing. CJ Batata, there's the shot, and what a save. Another chance for Batata. Trickles through. There's Lopes doing really well. Great challenge there. Ready for that one to be played in yet. Oh, this one travels back. Goalkeeper is there. Okay, a little slow to get up after that one. We'll check on him. Onwards we play. Here in the 23rd minute, Beer Hall fell behind early by way of penalty kick decision that went against them. Converted well by Anthony, getting his goal tally started early. Beer Hall. Meanwhile, they've looked good. We expect them to test. Okay, on the other side, here comes Beer Hall. Sending one forward for Lopes. Lopes taking it to the end line and sending it back. Potato is there. I won't quite get on the end of this. Hartland, meanwhile, they have a little breathing room in front of them. Is there? A pass, a oh, beautiful work in the midfield. Now finding Anthony. Anthony's return pass. Finds width. Good service from Harland, but no takers there. Nevis sends it into Anthony, but Beer Hall having none of that. Sent away by Holy. This one sent over the top and back. Good defending from Wilson. Sent out to Javon Lay. Oh, fortunate 
from the perspective of Beer Hall, that one was traveling over the touch before it took a Heartland touch. Here we go. Javon laid down the line. Flicked on well by Lopes. Here comes Jacobs. Scars Aletta is there. So is Lopes. Lopes taken down in a set piece in a good area for Dust Beer Hall. Take a look at the replay. Wasn't the most contact there, but Lopes made the most of it. And we'll see who will be the taker here for Beer Hall. Kenneth Deke lining everyone up. Brad McKim onto the field is one of the leading scorers for Beer Hall. Lined up over the ball. Here's McKim taking a good strike of the ball, but off of Hartland's wall. And watch out, Anthony, he's in the other way. Holy is there in defense. David Holy slowing down Anthony. Anthony making the most of the contact, but not really ever going to get that one. Good no call from the official. Here's Scarzaletta. Release, release, wide. It's an overlapping run on. Lopes sends it in. And a foul is called. That was Lutz. He helped out there for Beer Hall. Here comes Jacobs. Lutz across goal. And it will be offside's decision. Since that opening goal, the Spear Hall have looked the better team. But Hartland, they still have the lead. This one flicked on, and Scarzaletta sending it on the ground to Lopes. There's Lutz. I'm sorry, this is Lutz. Jump forward, and well won by Holy. Holy sends one in. It's a good ball. Here's Brad McKim. Taking on the shot, but what a save from Kenneth Eke. Can't give McKim that much space. He timed his run perfectly. Corner kick to come for Beer Hall. Here's the service. Sent away. Jacobs. Finding lay. Sent over the top. 
but we'll trickle over the touch. Sent down the line. Jacobs takes it down well. Finds Wilson. Sorry, Holly. Holy for Andrew Jacobs. Great outside of the foot deliver. Here comes Lutz. Steven Lutz sending it across goal and just too close to Kenneth Deke. Moving kick forward from Dyke into the wind. Still getting lots of distance. Here's Javon Le. Holy. Lopes. Jacobs. Here comes John Lopes. Lopes all by himself. Solomon the other way for Hartland. Hartland looking for the pass and goalkeeper Austin Hyde is there to collect. Scarzaletta sprays it out wide for Javon Lay. Now down the line. It'll trickle over the far touch just a little bit too far for the reach of Batata. New sub coming in for Beer Hall. Sent forward by George. Sent down the line. And all the way back for Hyde. Austin Hyde sends it forward on the first touch. Great touch down from Jacobs. Sorry, that was not Jacobs, McKim. Here comes Andrew Jacobs to the other side. Not finding the pass. Jacobs. Other brother Jacobs sends it forward for Scarzoletta. Oh, here comes Lutz. Stephen Lutz's ball is a dangerous one. Oh, almost snuck under the leg of Kenneth Dyke. But he did make the save. Sent forward by Dyke. And just trickles over far touch. Javon Lay down the line. Sends it into the 18. What a shot and what a hold from Dyke getting his money's worth today. Plenty of action for the goalkeeper. It'll have to be good. 
It's beer hall side. They look resolute in leveling the score. Not Dyke's best ball. Jacob Scarzaletta, now mopped up by Holy. Sent forward and again, won by Beer Hall. Slut sends it inside. But his pass is picked. Jacob sending it forward for his teammate. Shouts for a foul, but not getting the call. Dike will switch the point of attack, but maybe not the best decision. top flag stays down what a challenge and falls harmlessly into the arms of Dyke great last ditch challenge I didn't see the line but linesman was right there says he was on sides this is much better from Kenneth Dyke takes a bounce and now Holy sends it through Flicked on well, and that will be a throw for Biro. Some extra fans watching in over there through the little crack in the fence. John Lay sending it forward for a full. Holy taking the shot, it's blocked. Still not dealt with fully. And Heartland do clear their lines for the moment. Back in from Jacobs. Is there a counterattack on? Sent forward for Anthony. Crucial challenge. Anthony is in. Austin Hyde standing tall and does enough. Great goalkeeping there. Beautiful work from Austin Hyde to stand tall and stand up. Anthony with the goal gaping. He was all by himself. Take a look at this replay. This is top goalkeeping. That was Hyde's form of retribution, and he certainly didn't feel the earlier penalty call was warranted for his challenge, but was able to get his revenge there, and great save. And forward, given chase by Akinbunu. But will trickle over the touch. Throwing deep in Heartland territory and a chance for Beer Hall to get bodies forward.
one down the line. Devon Lay taking his time, sending it into the 18. Chance for Beer Hall to put a shot in. It's just wide. Didn't catch all of that one cleanly. Beer Hall still knocking at the door. They've had plenty of chances, but Dyke has been up to the task. In a sense, it's going to be like this Beer Hall. Lion's share of pressure, but. Parker it looked very dangerous on the counter. You saw that just a moment ago. That excellent save from Austin Hyde off of Anthony. Fast break. This one sent low. Does find midfield for Harland. Here is Anthony. Sizing up. In opposition did not find what he wanted. There's Kim. McKim sending out wide. Oh, ping pong's around. Anthony sends it back. Oh, not the best clearance at all. And Vunu back for Scarzaletta. Jacobs working, sending it into the box, taken down by Paula Fool and just over a goal. Not a bad effort at all. Welcome, the Black Taco and Luis, Coach Luis, welcome. Great performance last night for Virginia Dream. Of course, he's referring, Luis is referring to Wednesday night. We got a triple header in VSSL action. The primetime match will be Estudiantes taking on Virginia Dream, the Southern Conference of the Virginia Super League, sister conference to this Maryland Super League. And those are one and one. Yeah, that's right. They are exactly tied. Goal differential points, everything. So Estudiantes and Virginia Dream will be a huge match in determining the pecking order midway through this season. Tune in on DMV Sports Media Live for that one. Should be a mon monumentous affair. We'll have Alfred on commentary. This one sent forward for Hartland and across, and Austin Hyde confidently collects and sends it to the other side. There's Jacobs out to Akinbunu. Foul. We called McKim. And that's a simple yellow card. Flair not respecting the 10 and just sticking out his foot. As I was saying, Wednesday night, Studiantes, Virginia Dream, tune in on 9 p.m. We'll also have two more VSSL games, and I actually will be covering the finals of the MDV, the DMV Cup. Studiant, sorry, Ristosi will be taking on Christos at the same exact time. I know scheduling's not ideal. There's not the most interoperability between those different competitions. But we'll have three matches, four matches on the channel live simultaneously. Ristosi, Christos in the DMV Cup, Estudiantes, Virginia Dream in VSSL, North Stars versus Alexandria in VSSL, and Arlington SA versus Villarreal VSSL, all on DMV Sports Media. It's going to be a true test of our bandwidth and growth as we'll have our crews and commentators covering each and every one of them, bringing you a broadcast at home. This one's sent in and towards goal, well saved by Dyke. So unfortunately, I won't be there in person to see that one, Luis, but I'll have a capable and ready crew with some brand new equipment, audio equipment to boot. We'll be getting the best. 
Holy. Sends one forward for Akinbunu. Javon Lay. And that will see us through to the end of the half. Heartland still leading by a score of one to nil over a penalty kick converted by Anthony. Beer Hall will feel wronged by that, but they'll have plenty of time to right the ship here. We'll take a quick break for halftime and join us in just a few minutes, second half here at Milford Mill in Windsor Mill, Maryland. Thank you for joining us. If you like what you see, drop a like on the video and subscribe for more. And we'll see you soon, just a few minutes.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back underway here. Milford Mill Academy, Windsor Mill, Maryland, Beer Hall. Sending one forward right away and picked up by Kenneth Dyke. Heartland SG leading Das Beer Hall in this MSSL Week 3 action. Score of 1 to 0. It was a penalty kick converted by Anthony. But since then, Beer Hall, they've had chances and a lot of the possession. Actually had more of the possession, however. I would say Heartland have looked dangerous on the break, especially when they found Anthony in space. Bear Hall sending it back to Hyde. Hyde's ball flicked on and set piece quickly taken. Miller taking the set piece right around midfield. This one takes a bounce up in the air and Dyke will catch. Out wide, over the top, and back, Austin Hyde taking his time on the ball, sends it over to his right, now Miller. Well, one by Air Hall. Now to touch will be a Heartland throw. Laid off, now put forward to John Lopes. Heartland back inside. There's an overlapping run. Return pass is a little bit late. Sent forward. Picked out by Heartland. They had to go, but never really going to trouble Hyde from that distance. Right, starting from the back. Holy, or for Wilson, Oscar Zaleta, David Holy looking to beat this Harlan back line, but not really going to do it that way. Brad McKim on the ball, floating one forward, but picked out easily. There's Miller. And we'll travel over the near touch. Wins picking up here at Milford Mill. See how that affects the game. This one played in, well controlled. Oh, what a touch, beautiful delivery from Dust Beer Hall. And what a save from Kenneth Dyke on the end of it. Just to gingerly touch it over. We'll take a look on the replay now. Shield this way. You can stay a little higher. Well done, well done. Sent in by Scarzaletta. That was a dangerous delivery. Beer Hall excel at these set pieces, but can't find anything on that go. Here's Lopes. Oh, sent in, but just a little bit beyond the reach of Brad McKim. 
Greg Gay's ball. It's contested. Second ball won by Hartland. Uh, Hassani sends it back. Here's Hassani applying the pressure up top. Trying to catch Beer Hall off guard. Here comes a good ball, but just a little bit underweighted. John Lopes was streaking forward. And a foul going against Beer Hall, just inside their own territory. Taken just wide of goal. Didn't really catch it cleanly, but warning shot for Das Beer Hall. Pressure on it, and a foul going against John Lopes. Hartland looking at the far side. Jacobs. Uh, throw on that far touch for Beer Hall. Sorry, set piece. Accepted by Hartland. They have runners. They're just going to slow it down. They have the lead and possession just as valuable as a goal. Oh, this is better. Sent across, but not finding any recipients. There's a chance for Rigger Sasani. Sending it across and easily scooped up by Austin Hyde. So one sent sky high by Austin Hyde. Takes a bounce. Lopes is contesting. Good strength from John Lopes. Beer Hall trying to sync up up top. Well, one back. It's a battle out there. And a foul is given against Potato. Lumping it down to the far side, well contested by Wilson. Here's Akambuno. Finding Lopes. 
Lopes is fouled by George. Here comes the service from Joey Miller. Just sent in quickly for Holy. Oh, not well controlled, but it takes a fortunate bounce for Beer Hall. Flicked on by Lopes. And well cleared. Hassani flicks it on well. And this will trickle over the far touch. Sent into touch, another beer, beer hall throw. And into the box, McKim turns, but kind of Dyke is there. Okay, launching this one into the air. And eventually over the far touch. Lopes receiving, sending it back. Forward and Holy just sends it right back. Harlan, lots of time. They play it forward. Well contested again by Holy. And sent over the End line, goal kick to come. Hyde, so I need up the field, the direction of McKim. Brad McKim, spraying it out wide. But read easily by Hartland. Good long throw. Lopes on the end of it, taking it to the corner. John Lopes, can he round the corner? Decides better of it. And sent back in by Beerhawk. Dyke has to punch it. Good goalkeeping. And a foul for the benefit of Das Beer Hall. Hartland don't like that one. I feel that kind of that game might have been fouled initially. Let's take a look at this instant replay. There's the service, good one in the back post. And just over the end line, there is a foul coming out anyways. Kick coming out from Kenneth Dyke. 
I'll send one forward for Lopes. And foul for the benefit of Beer Hall. Is this the moment? Their set pieces have been good. Javon Lay. Watch out, he might hit this one. You know, Lay has a shot on him. Here comes Javon Lay. Hitting it and oh, what a touch. There's a yellow card in there. Beautiful save. May not have counted anyways, but Dike was not to know about that. Here comes a long ball from Dike. One by Beer Hall. Here comes Lopes. And McKim earns the throw for his side. Substitution being made by Das Beer Hall. Comes the full. Comes the long throw from Joey Miller. Traveling, flicked on and sent away by George. Javon Lay sends it back into the box. Goalkeeper is there, but we'll just watch this one trickle over the end line. Bear Hall. Shot taken, but not really ever going to have a chance of testing. Going to thank you with that one. Looks like we'll see Miller step off. Lots on for Bear Hall. And forward, and running out of real estate over on that far side. Goalkeeper sends this one through, Lutz is on it. That's Beer Hall just inside Heartland territory. Beer Hall still trailing. What can they find? It looks like Javon Lay will send this one forward. No, they're going to play it short for Lay. Javon Lay's ball just bounces innocuously in front of Kenneth Dyke. Long ball the other way now. <laughs> Some popped 
up in the air. Marlin just forced to play this one over the touchline. Like on. And sent away now by Hartland. This one back in for Beer Hall. Sent across, and oh man. Lots of balls pounced on by Kenneth Dyke. Beer Hall have had their chances throughout this one. Just have not been clinical when called on. Sonny down the far side. Finding the pass and offsides is the decision. Sent back and Austin Hyde sends one forward. It's Jacobs, Akinbunu. Here is Ak Akinbunu. Overlapping run from Awful, but crucial defending from Leroy George. Hassani lays it off. And sent through. Hassani. Is through, but Austin Hyde well off his line. Lutz finds Jacobs. Sent back. Here comes McKim. Oh, crucial challenge at the last. Hartland looking forward. Here's Asani. He's got a man in the middle. Takes the shot on. Oh, what a letdown. The chance was gaping. He had a man. But. Bearhall still in this game, just one goal down. That piece for Hartland on the far side. They're all been resolute defending these set pieces all game, but what can Hartland find? Lay, putting pressure, Asani, and away from Birha, looking for Paul Affel. Affel centers it, and back for Affel, but offsides is the decision. I didn't get a good eye on that, but it looked offsides.
So and set forward. Hassani, the touch, but he took a fall afterwards. Sent over to the near touch. Hassani lining up a service into the box. Oh, it was really good service, but offsides is the call. Over to the far side. And just wide of goal. Oh my goodness. Harland. Several opportunities for them to just ice this game out and have not found the finishing touch. A full, giving Chase, sends it across, tries a cheeky shot, but Daike not going to be beaten from that angle or distance. Up in the air. Marvelous control. Hartland have won this midfield for now. Sent in. Flag stays down, but Hyde is off his line. Good pressure coming from Beer Hall, forcing the clearance out of bounds. And sent in by Beer Hall. Still in play. And Hartland do clear their lines now. Sent back to Hyde. Javon Lay. And Hyde. Now Miller. Oh, McKim with a rare bad touch. Here come Hartland. Crucial challenge in there. Sent forward by Beer Hall. They've got a runner in the middle. Too many purple shirts and a fool just couldn't get the ball off his foot. There's a good challenge from Scarzaletta, but deemed to be illegal. Seventy fifth minute, fifteen minutes plus stoppage left in this one. Is there a goal in it for Beer Hall or will Hartland see this one out? Hartland have had chances to put a second in for sure. Sent into the corner. And across. Not fully cleared by Miller. Sent across. 
And now finally away. Partial clearance. Luis looking to switch the play, but just served up for Batata. Not a good touch from him. Sent up and away from Lutz. Awful sending it forward and Hartland easily able to deal with that. Luis sending it into his midfield. Luis getting it back. There's an overlapping run on. He's got a man at the back post. Oh, can he take it himself? Oh, and that's a golasso for Hartland. 2-0. And that might be the nail in the coffin. Beautiful finish. It was a long time coming. And Heartland looking for their first three points. I think they're going to find it today. Take a look at the replay. What will Beer Hall do now? Need to score two goals in 10 minutes. Raffle taking it to the end line and a crucial challenge. So it's a corner kick now. Oh, well, we're in the 78th minute now. Sent in and away. Beer so, Hall, second bite at the apple, sending it in, and goalkeeper will collect. Oh, I think they're all taking exception to Dike going down so easy. And Dike taking exception to the contact, but onwards we play. Okay, launching it well over the touch. corner of Beer Hall. Beer Hall laying it up, taking the shot. Oh, it's just not their day today, Beer Hall. Okay, looking long. It is now just 10 minutes plus stoppage in this one. Not a lot of stoppage either. Into the midfield, well flicked on by Hartland. Falls to Holy's feet. And here's Jacobs finding a pass to Lance. Oh, just ran out of real estate. Will be a goal kick again. Rinse repeat. Sent forward. Now Scarzaletta plays one in. Is it on sides? McKim is in. McKim straddling the line and Lensman says it traveled over the end. We 
he was on sides. That's frustrating. Dyke launching one. Not getting the distance he would have liked. Here comes a full, and it is offsides. And then it says over, and then the captain's like, hey, don't catch it. Sasani taking a touch, now a shot, and well held by Hyde. Urgency now for Beer Hall. They have the capability to score two goals, but how it's gone today, finishing has not been good. A full sending it to the back post for Lutz. Lutz across goal and away. Still in play, Lutz putting the pressure on. Excellent defending there. And offsides there from McKim. Frustration mounting here for Beer Hall. 83rd minute, 83rd minute, excuse me. Hartlin launching one forward, but picked up by Jacobs. Sent out wide. This one sent in, Lay is there. Ergus Asani taking it to the end line and across, but well closed down by Javon Lay. It's still in play, but a trickle over for a corner kick. Now sent in. And a shot taken, but goal kick to come. Next match will be Team United versus Ristosi. Those two sides saw each other on a Wednesday just last week, but due to other scheduling conflicts throughout the season, we decided to schedule that Wednesday night and this one sort of out of order from what we normally would see these two teams play. Ristosi, we're the better team in that contest, going up early and holding on to that lead, eventually winning 4-2. Team United, they're ready for today. They're bringing out everybody, and it'll be a clash. I highly recommend tuning in for that one. Launched, a well won. McKim working back, but oh, Hartland playing one over the top. Riggers Asani all by himself. Taking on the shot, and that's a goal. Que golazo from Riggers Asani. 3 nothing over Beer Hall. Asani giving the little dance. We'll take a look at this replay. Certainly that is the nail in the coffin. Fifth minute. Beer Hall. What can they find? It's a foul. Going against Hartland. Javon Lay to send this one in. And directly towards goal, and not a good delivery from Javon Lay. 
Huge let down. There's Asani finding the overlapping run. It's in. Can he find the goal? Oh, goalkeeper does so well there, Austin Hyde. Hyde taking it on himself to get that cleared on the second attempt. Apple sending CJ Batata. He's got two runners in the middle, Batata. Can he find a ball over? He can. Here's Jacobs rounding the corner and excellent defending. Take a look at this save from a moment ago from Austin Hyde. He's been a bright spot all day. This one's set to cross by McKim and the goal from Batata. 3 1 is the score. Is that enough to make this interesting? Jacob sent it across for Batata. Eighty eighth minute. Theoretically, there's still a chance for Beer Hall to make something. We've seen them in this situation before last season. Scoring too late against Steel Pulse in the closing minutes to earn points against them. Don't count them out. This one contested by Miller. Oh, nervy moment. Jacob sends one over, but that is offsides again. Off full, just can't seem to keep himself on sides. Sent into the midfield, well contested there. Good ball now, Apple. Offsides again. Eighty ninth minute now. George sends it forward. The handball is called. Miller can't find his target, so he will just switch the point of attack. Javon Lay now. Finding Batata. Batata rounds the corner, but runs himself out of touch. Offsides is the call. Beerhaw sending it forward. Flicked on well, but Heartland were prepared. But switching the point of attack. Play. Beautiful sequence of play now sent back to Dyke. It's 
Guards a lot of working back. Down the line. Here come Hartland, looking for the nail in the coffin again. Taking on the shot and well held from Hyde. Hyde launching one forward, looking for McKim. That's a handball. And that will do it. Final whistle here. Hartland victorious by a score of three to one over Das Beerhall. Beerhall fought hard late, but it was too little, too late. And that is all. Thanks for joining us. I recommend staying around for the next one. It's Team United versus Rostozi in MSSL Division One. Will be a thrilling one here on the DMV Sports Media Channel. And then at 7 p.m. we have. A3 Highlanders taking on AFC Dobes. And finally at 8.30 p.m. on the channel, we have Baltimore Kickers versus Ambition FC.